you look at Central America, the transnational criminal organizations have three times the end strength, weapons, budget, than the security forces they face. That's a tragedy, and it's getting worse. So key question, if the threat's that bad and it's grown that much, why aren't existing approaches, why haven't existing approaches worked? Why aren't we getting at the root cause? Should we completely realign regional and U.S. approaches? Should we less emphasize eradication and interdiction? And as Dr. Griffith said, focus more on police, prosecutors, and prisons, institutions. I'll add a fourth P, Dr. Griffith. Principles, human rights training. And notice I haven't asked, mentioned military one time. These strong institutions are the real bulwark of hope for the people in the region and for the erosion of democracies, which we've, we've heard yesterday and we'll hear more about today. 